what's up everyone I managed to get another box of circulated nickels so I'm hoping to possibly find some war nickels or buffalo nickels or maybe even a V nickel so I'm excited to get into these so I'm gonna get started and I'll let you know what I find alright I just opened roll number 24 for the box not sure if you can see it but that dirty looking nickel that has some glue and stuff on it. Looks like it's a buffalo. Looks like it's pretty worn so I'm not sure if it'll end up having a date or not. Yeah, it's in really, really, really rough shape. And I don't see a date. And I can't see a mint mark. And it really ruins it because it's got all that crap all over it. And then its face is all scratched. But this might be a good nickel to try some Nicodate on. Because I don't think it's going to be worth anything either way. But anyway... I'll keep going. Alright, so I just opened roll number 38. I looked at the edges and I didn't think I saw any that looked toned like a war nickel. But as you can see right there, there's a 1943. That looks like it's pretty worn down. Yep, 1943. And it's a Philadelphia Mint. So that's 35% silver. And I didn't see anything else just glancing at the rest of the roll. So I'll finish up the box and let you know what else I find. Alright, so I finished up that entire box of nickels and here are my finds. I got 14 Jefferson nickels from the 50s. 6 that were from the 40s. I got one 1938 plane, one 1939 plane, this dateless buffalo that's in really bad shape, and a 1943p war nickel, which is 35% silver. And I'm going to end up using some Nicodate on that buffalo. I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm making a separate video for that. So, if you want to know what year this buffalo is, you better watch the video. Anyway, that was a pretty good box. And I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like and leave a comment. And thank you for watching.